Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is actually gonna be yet another request video. Um, it's actually gonna be on my nail care and how I maintain my own nails. Um, it was requested by um, Audrey A. Lambert 19, Ultra Zero Violent, Edison Chen 28, and Sushi 00 Time. So, thank you guys for the request. Um, a few of them were just asking how I cut my nails properly, how I file them, how I grow them out, and all that. Um, this is probably the longest I like to keep my nails. It was longer in the video, but I do file them down. Definitely use a base and a top coat. That definitely helps in um, preventing um, your nail polish to chip, and it helps strengthen your nails as well. Also use polish with hardeners. They help. And... Um, or use a treatment from Sally Hansen. They have lots of um, nail treatments, so check them out. They have great nail maintenance stuff. So, yeah. In no way, shape, or form am I saying the way I maintain my nails is the correct way. It's just personally how I do it. So, if you guys have any tips for me, leave them down here. Let me know. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I maintain my nails, take care of my nails, keep on watching. If you guys have any other comments, questions, requests, leave them down here. <laughs> or email me and I will definitely try and get back, alright? Peace. Alright, so the first step is to take off our previous polish. And um, you've seen these um, nails from the last tutorial I did. I'm just going to take... Um, this pure acetone that I got from Sally's and just some um, cotton and I'm just gonna take off my previous polish all right and so the next step is just to take a file I actually got this one at Sally's um, for about 50 or 60 cents um, as you can tell it is a coarse file um, I like to um, file down my tips rather than cut them that was one of Edison Chen 28's questions, how I cut my nails. I actually don't like to. <laughs> I like to file my tips down. And um, Edison Chen also asked how I file my nails. I like my nails to have a square tip, as you can tell. <laughs> so I just um, go straight across with this file. And be sure you only file in one direction. Um, because if you go back and forth like this, your nails are more susceptible to break and to weaken. They're more likely to chip and split. So just go in one direction. I like to file my nails down pretty short. You can see it all in my black shirt. And I like to um, round my corners down a little bit. Just like that. Alright, so I'll be back after I file the rest of my nails. So I filed them down really short. The next step is just to take a um, cuticle softener. This one's from Sally Hansen. It's called Problem Cuticle Remover. It also comes with these wooden orange sticks. You can use these as well to push your cuticles down. But I'm going to be using... Um, this cuticle pusher by Revlon that I got at Walmart for about four to five dollars. So just take this and apply it where your cuticles are, just like that. So just like that, and then you're gonna put it over your whole nail, kind of just concentrate it more at the cuticle, soften them up. Then you can also want to put some, um, if you have long, longer nails with your tips, white tips, you're going to want to put some um, at the very back. I don't know if you can see that. So you can clean the back of your nail as well. And um, so what you're going to do is just take your pusher and, oops, and push your cuticles down like this and kind of scrape the top layer of your nail so all that dirt and all that dead stuff will come off. <laughs> Be sure you get the sides as well. Like this. And you do not want to cut your cuticles. You want to just push them down because um, if you do cut them 
then you're more susceptible to get infection. Your, um, your cuticles actually are like a barrier, so you don't want to cut them. So that's why you push them. So it's going to look like that. Just take a cotton, just take that stuff off your pusher and just wipe your nail. And then this pusher actually has um, something to clean under your nails. Since we put some of that, um, of this under, you're just going to take this and scrape in the back and I'll clean it up. Okay. So I'm just going to do this to all my nails and I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back and I just finished pushing down my cuticles and cleaning underneath um, each nail. So, so far this is what it looks like. I'm just going to take a nail file, a less coarse one. Um, I actually got this one from Walmart for about 97 cents. It's like a file buffer and yeah. So I'm just going to take this smooth side. It's a file though. It's not as coarse as this one, but yeah. I'm just going to take it and file the base of each nail. So just take this blue side and just, yeah, file each nail. Just like that. Be sure you get your sides as well. Just hold down this, your finger on each side. Just get as close to the cuticles as possible. Alright, so let me just continue on doing this to the rest of my nails and I'll be back. Alright, so after I um, buff the face of my nails, I take Sally Hansen's Diamond Strength Cuticle and Nail Refiner. Take this, do the same thing, kind of put it on my cuticles, just like that on each nail. It kind of has like those exfoliating beads and um, they help also buff away stuff on your nails. So I just take this and what you do is you just kind of work it into your nails just like that. And you can feel it's kind of like sandy, kind of gritty. You want to get that into your cuticles and on your nail as well. So it's going to look like that. Be sure you get your sides of your nails as well. So it's going to look like that. And after you do this to all your nails, you um, then wash your hands with warm water. Alright, so we are back and um, I just washed my hands in some warm water after applying this. So um, I'm just going to take some more acetone and um, on a cotton pad and just lightly um, put it on my fingernails. You don't want there to be any natural oils in your nails prior to um, polishing your nails or doing your nail art. So that just makes sure that there's no oils whatsoever. And then we're going to take our base coat and our top coat. Um, I just used China Glaze um, base and top coat. Be sure to put this on after you do your polish or your nail art. And I'm just going to apply this base coat. This is a very, very important step because polishes may stain your nail. So you want to um, protect your nail from getting stained. And by applying um, a base coat, that will definitely help. Base coat also strengthens your nails and helps prevent chipping. Helps your um, polishes stay on longer. So I just apply one coat of this on each nail. Alright, so we are back and I just finished applying um, my base coat. So this is a very important step. Don't forget to put a base coat on. Then you can apply your nail color next. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to probably do a nail tutorial in a bit. And then don't forget to put a top coat on as well. This also helps prevent from chipping. So um, you can reapply your top coat every day or every other day to help maintain your polishes. But this is how I maintain my nails, my nail care. So thank you for the people who requested this. And um, yeah, if you guys have any comments, questions, requests, leave them down here. <laughs> or email me and I will definitely try and get back, alright? Thanks again. Peace.